Hello all. Welcome to English Kids. So today our session will be throughout in English. Don't ask me why. Many of you had requested me to do the full session in English and also we know listening is an indispensable part when it comes to learning a language. Many of you had asked me to do a story. So I thought why a story? Why not about the present scenario, the current situation our state is facing? Kerala has issued a health alert, right? We know it's Nipah virus. Let's put some light on the current scenario, Nipah virus. Cases of Nipah virus has re-emerged in Kerala with a total tally of six, including two deaths. The two who passed away were part of the same family. The first victim, Mr. Mohammed, belongs to Calicut district of Kerala and he passed away on August 30th. Kerala Health Minister, Weena George, had held a high-level meeting to assess the present situation. A total of 58 wards across nine panchayats in the Vadagra Taluk of Calicut district have been declared as the containment zones. Let's see in detail what Nipah virus infection is. Nipah virus is a zoonotic disease. A zoonotic disease means it spreads from animals to animals. It gets transmitted within the animals. So it affects a person if a person comes in contact with an infected animal or contaminated food. Also, it spreads from person to person. It's highly contagious. The real cause of concern about Nipah virus is that the fatality rate is really high. In 2018, the fatality rate was about 90%. About 18 were infected, among which 17 died. Like in coronavirus, in Nipah virus also, we can start seeing the symptoms as early as four days of infection. The most common symptoms are headache, fever, sore throat, vomiting, and shortness of breath. Most common symptom is shortness of breath and breathing difficulties in the Nipah infected people. The symptoms of Nipah virus can actually last for a couple of weeks and the situation goes bad to worse, out of hand, the moment patient develops encephalitis. Encephalitis is the medical term used for inflammation or swelling of the brain. Some other major symptoms are disorientation and seizures. Unfortunately, till now there is no cure for Nipah virus. All we can do is scope for precaution. As we have a look at the root of the problem, bats are the origin of Nipah virus. They are messy eaters. They eat fruits and berries and drop the partly eaten fruits and berries to the ground. These fruits are then contaminated with the spit of the bats. If the bat is infected, the bat saliva infects the fruits too. Now imagine an animal eating it, a cow, a pig, a rabbit, or a goat eating this, they will also get infected. And the people who are in contact with these animals also get infected. If a human eats any of these animals or happen to taste a fruit that has been tasted by a bat, he also has the probability of getting infected. So please avoid eating fruits that looks questionable. And if you happen to come in contact with any of the fruits that looks questionable, please wash your hands thoroughly. And before eating, wash all the fruits thoroughly. Stay away from areas that are infected or are prone to infection. And please, please keep in mind all the rules and guidelines given by the government. Hope the video was useful and you liked it. I need your valuable comments. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't clicked the like button and the bell button, please click it. So until we see next time, take care, stay safe. Bye bye.